Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Duncan Rampa V3, where we're. Don't make me go into the creepy hallway. Oh my God, I cannot figure out. I can't figure out how they're gonna. <sighs> like something's gonna happen. Yep. Uh, like obviously, they're gonna it's try not to bring gonna back. Be what I think it's going to be. I think Angie is dead. Yeah, and, and we were talking since like the third chapter is always the double murder. The other one, we were like, oh, Himiko, no. Oh, she's still here. She's still alive. So For that's a moment. Yeah, you guys again. Why? Himiko, why are you here? Why are you keeping watch this whole time? Are you keeping watch this whole time? You do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I came to check on Angie. You. What do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Uh, yeah, because the ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. That's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared or anything, okay? Sure, whatever. But it's good that you're here. She won't open the door for anyone but members of the student council, right? Then? So tell Angie to open it for us. Uh, Man, that's not possible. Huh? Not possible. Hmm. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. Huh? Won't come out. Are you sure she's in there? She should be inside. Both the door and the back one are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked. Oh, so they aren't even going to get to the ritual. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Click, 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 click. It really is locked. No shit. <laughs> but these doors only lock from the inside, which means there is definitely someone hey. in there. Any response? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer. Give me go. Himiko, we need to get inside right now. Oh, is she yeah. already dead? Yeah, why? Ah. But you know, even if you wanted to check, it's locked, so we can't do. I see. I heard everything, and I'm just as shocked as you are by what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. You. Where did you come from? Um. A little birdie, birdie told me that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kichi's trick. Can oh, you pick the lock? Yeah, oh. There you go. Ah, oh, the lock picking. Huh? Huh, lock picking. Hey. During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lock picking. Can you use your lock picking skills to get this lab door open? Mm -hmm. You want me to open this door, huh? Hmm, let me see. Kokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole doorknob. Ah. Oh, it's a cylinder lock. Now, this type of lock is perfect for lock um. picking. Yes, please, Kokichi, open yeah. the lock. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Himiko. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Kokichi, hurry up and open the door. My bad. Sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. <laughs> Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Where did he get his little... Kids? Oh, God. And this would be another closed door murder thing, too. Mm -hmm. See? There. Open says huh? me. That's simple. <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Well, lock picking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me! Ah, uh, that cuts real deep, Maki. All right. Let's get inside. I'm worried about Angie. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Himiko, what are you... Mm, going in without permission. I won't cover for you when Angie gets mad, you know? All right. Uh, when I touched the tournament, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. And the fear. music stopped. Why am I nervous? I turned the door knob, pushed open the door, and saw. Oh. Well, oh. there we go. Is it a double murder because all those people are dead again? <laughs> For, yeah, is that how they kind of got around their own rule? <laughs> well, maybe that's that they didn't have to. Why does it have the happy music going yeah, on? I was just thinking. <laughs> this is an official announcement. A uh, body has been discovered. Everyone, please assemble at the ultimate art lab. <laughs> ah! Yeah, she puked again. It's green this time. Monophony's green puke is said to be an omen of bad luck and disaster. What on earth is about to happen? Oh, man. So is it maybe not a double murder? Answer student from beyond the grave. Deadly life. Oh, okay. Well, then. Let us pray for Angie. Wait, what? Are they all still brainwashed? So that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. Mm. 
Watua, please take care of Angie. It, it can't be! Hey, why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have a tool with her? You don't know? Clearly she didn't. Weird! Is that not true? Angie, oh, say Atua always by our side. Damn it. We don't have time to be talking about this instead of talking about Atua. Right? Yeah, we all talked about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing really? game. Wait, this is part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But, but why would someone do such awful but thing? Is that really what happened? Huh? Huh? Could it be? Is it possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... One of the resurrected? Is that what she's gonna say? I'm wondering. That doesn't... Uh-oh. No, a vomit-soaked entrance time novel, and the puke is green again, too. That's a pretty ominous sign. Why did another murder happen? <laughs> What's the deal, Monodom? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along. It's okay. Don't worry, overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far, yes. Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. Oh, my so, then. so, let's get started. We are all friends. Conduct a friendly investigation, then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. The Monodom file. <laughs> it still says Monokuma. Oh. oh, look, the Monokuma file. I want it to be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want to do a two monophony? I did not. By the way, I've been thinking you guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame. Living is all the rage these days. <laughs> ah, more green puke. This is really unlucky. So long. Farewell. So what killed her? I don't think it the sword sure didn't. Ah, there's no use complaining. We are better off beginning our investigation. So everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait. Not going to, no way going to ever get used to this. Nope. Trust me, you don't want to get used to this. No one should get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. So everyone else who's alive is here. So if... <sighs> There's another murder. What does it come? Does it come later? That's weird. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. It, right. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. In the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Shuichi. All right, bro. I'm counting on you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Uh, okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? Okay. We seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. Like... See, he's still waxing like he's sick. The culprit? Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? Hmm. I get how you feel, Samugi, but why do you have to repeat that tired old line every time? Uh, oh, no, it's not that. I mean, could this have been the work of the transfer student? Huh? Yeah. Uh... Angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? Then she made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Could it be? Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her. <laughs> hey. What? Shut up already. What? It's her fault telling scary stories out of nowhere like that. Saying messed up stuff like that. Uh, um, Kaito, are you all right? Damn. Sure. Sorry, Shuichi. I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. That's right, she's probably more helpful than you are. He's Wait, kind which, of an idiot. Uh, oh, never mind. I couldn't see Karumi, uh, the wax statue behind Kibo for a oh, second. Oh, yeah, because they have the same coloring. Yeah. All right, I also so, want to know what's with all the black paint splotches. It looks like blood. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Kaito left, still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Job, that coward has a lot of nerd bossing us around. <laughs> uh, maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage. Jeez. You clearly settled right into his into your sidekick role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well. So where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yes. Let's take a look. Ooh, are you gonna be our detective yeah. sidekick this time? The victim is Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist. 
body was found in the ultimate artist's lab. Time of death is approximately two in the morning. Okay, okay. The cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. Ooh. The forehead also has a laceration. All right, so forehead has a laceration, but the cause of death is a stab wound to so the back. So it makes me think someone came behind her and stabbed her too. So she so might have not have seen it coming. But then why did, how did she get a cut on the top of the head? She's already stabbed through the neck. Hmm. On Akuma file included the time of death this time. Hmm. Here I am. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. <laughs> So the murder happened at nighttime after all. If everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angina Tua said. <laughs> what good will saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council, yes. Why? A member of the student council, th that's... All right! We should go and figure that out. Let's start investigating and solve this mystery together. It's impossible. I, I can't. Himiko? Ugh. I can't, I, I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But, but if we don't make it through this class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Huh? What? What a pain. Surviving and everything else. It's too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't we just use your magic to revive Angie? Please stop. This is no time for your mean-spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that with certainty, no. Huh? Excuse me. No. Well, of course, resurrecting her is impossible, but I know a way we could speak with Angie. You see? We can summon her spirit with a seance called the Cage Tiger. Child. Child. Cage. Where'd she, get, where'd she get Tiger? I think just because Cage Tiger goes together. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Can you tell us the end of the day? <laughs> seance. What are you trying to pull? Seance. What are you talking about? Cut it out already. Seance of the Cage Tiger. You gotta be Child. Me. Yeah, this is not time for jokes. I am serious. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> this is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation. Yes. If we spoke with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. Oh, you know. First a resurrection ritual and now a seance. Are you messing Do with you us? Understand? I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to the Monokuma, to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written of in our literature the world over. I figured out when the second death happens. We bring her back as a seance and then we kill her. Then it's two deaths. The seance of the cage tiger. <laughs> in the cage tiger, yeah. That's yeah. how this works. She dies in the tiger cage. In fact, I myself have participated in seances a great many times. Uh -huh. Is that why you're nuts? Many times. <laughs> On top of that, I have learned here a rare chance to... We have here a rare chance to perform the legendary seance, the Cage Child Tiger. <laughs> it would be foolish to not take advantage of this, yes? No. <laughs> no matter how you put it, now's not the time for something. However... No. I suspect, suspect that the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance, yes? What? My earlier theory? Therefore... The possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. So to prove such a thing impossible, I think we best consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible. Th that logic is peculiar to say the least. Um... Holding a seance to find out about the ritual? So we're gonna fight the occult with the occult? That actually makes some level of sense. Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest solution. How exciting! Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. Uh -huh. You huh? just started. Mm. I'll help too. Huh? Oh, you too, Himiko? Uh, if I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. A seance or whatever it takes, I'll do it. Well, I'll help out as well. I can't leave Himiko alone. Do whatever you want. Mm. Yes! Okay, I will. So then. So, now we have four participants. Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the cage child tiger requires five people. We're still one short. Hmm. Fine, then Keyboy can come too. You're right. I guess we can't be picky. Why? Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then. So then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? Hmm? How about your lab? Yeah. No, in order for the cage child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. Then and how about the empty rooms? That's... Ew. The creepy rooms with the spirits. Oh, the empty rooms. The ones on the fourth mm. floor? There aren't any windows there, so if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. 
Sure, I'm fine with That's that. Enough. I agree with Himiko. Seems dangerous. Tell me your thoughts. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we then, use? You, the middle one. The middle room is always best for stuff like this. Wasn't that where Monokuma was? That was where Monokuma was. We're going to resurrect Monokuma. Where Monokuma was. I think this is where we're going to get our next murder. Yes. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have you for help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment from my uh, lab. Um, uh, are you really going to do this? Understand. This is for investigation. I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we need to use all our effort to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. Although I can't figure out the motive. I get why they killed Angie. That part makes sense. She's, she was the crazy ringleader that had the Atua plague. So would they kill... Oh, they kill Himiko because she's kind of like she's kind of like second in command almost like she was like one of the first ones to, to join. Yeah. Kyo, Kokichi, Kibo, Tenko and Himiko all left the scene. This is stupid. Are you serious about this stupid seance? But perhaps this is part of the investigation in their eyes. We should go with it. And in any case, I should focus on what I can do, what the ultimate detective can do. Investigate. Okay, so let's see. what can we see? We really we can't investigate anything other than the body in the back door. All right, start with the body. Angie's body. She's lying face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Uh, okay. Yes, I was planning to. Minute? Then let's hurry up and do it. I can't afford to waste any time here. Maki doesn't hesi didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. She has no problems with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Hmm. Oh, right. there's more stuff. Oh, okay, there we go. Do you see that um, Kurumi, I think, is the only one without a... No? Katie's the only one that has that's a... The, that's, she's the only one with a sword in her. I recognize that sword. Oh, oh, who has gold dust on their hand? It's the sword from Kyo's lab. It sure is. All right, let's take a look at that. Katana stabbed into Kayeti's wax effigy. Damn. Who did this and why? Me? Let me see. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh, oh wait, this is a crime scene. You can't. What is it? You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if you don't pull it because. out. Yes, that's true, but we have to preserve the scene. Maki paid no mind to my protest and stared at the katana for a while. Is this? It's a real katana, but there's gold leaf on it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I believe it's the one that was on display in the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Hmm. Is that so? Okay. You probably assume this is the murder weapon, judging by the blood stain on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to stab. But... But why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder weapon? That's true. Good question. I've gone... I, this they could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be? Perhaps it's because Kyo's lab is on the same floor. They just grabbed something close by. They may have been in a hurry. Well, or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. Huh? Long weapon. Okay. My lab doesn't contain swords or any other weapons for the of this huh? length. Oh, really? That's true. I'm not sure how Manakuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched a mission using a katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally, just like Angie's was. But how did they know all this? <sighs> anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hands now. Uh, okay. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. That Why didn't we say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I'll have to wash them. Maki scolded me, then stood in front of Kaede's hey, effigy. I'm gonna put the kabana... Kabana? Kabana. Katana back where we found it. If it's too hard to watch, look away. Uh, okay. Ah, thank you. I averted my gaze and Maki stabbed the Kabana Katana back into the wax effigy. Sure. <laughs> I think we've just given up on reading at this point. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? Hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? I mean, it, it stands out pretty much regardless. Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. 
Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon than this. What are you yeah. Talking about? What's the reason for this? Throw us off, maybe? That's. I honestly have no idea. Well, we should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. The ultimate anthropologist lab? Yes, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. Okay. Uh, hang wax dolls, I guess. The four effigies hung upside down makes the scene particularly eerie. All right. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. If I remember correctly, Angie made all these wax figures. Hey, this rope from the warehouse. You're right. I believe so, and that means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten these ropes. <sighs> Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that could be used for murder. Uh, um... Anyway, I know that these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. That's true. These effigies look exactly like real people, not just their faces, but their bodies, too. Ultimate artist certainly was talented. Oh, that's you. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is it part of the ritual? Hmm. Hmm, I'm not what sure. Is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? Right, if they're going to if they're going to do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit, Angie, or someone else entirely? Effigies hung upside down. Okay. The body or the Necronomicon. Kinda of curious to see what kind of clues we need this. Ah, this book. Because I'm I'm hoping it'll describe how the ritual is supposed to work. Cause I'm it, it would probably help help it. us if we know if who suspended those bodies. Mm -hmm. This is the motive, the Necronomicon. Hey, Angie tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Okay. Yes. If we look at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. Perfect. <laughs> the Necronomicon resurrection ritual. Oh my God, the Monokumas. How much you know about resurrection rit <laughs> rituals? I'm an expert. That's why I wrote this handy manual. It's so easy. Anyone can do it. Even a monkey. Even a bear. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. Wait, what? Is that what the book says? The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After pre preparing the effigy, burn this ne Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution, be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait. And af after a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. So not even close. So nothing about them being suspended. So that was after. Mm -hmm. So these are the steps for the resurrection this ritual. Stupid. And you really believed in this crap. It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. Okay. Are they all are they all gonna be the same? Just uh Yep. Okay. Helper Angie. Yeah, got it. Okay. Disregard. Take a look at her body. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound in the back of to the back of the neck. As well as a laceration on her forehead. Killing blow is a single stab to the back of the neck, a sneak attack, most likely. Well. Then what do you make of the wound on her forehead? <sighs> Maybe the culprit hit her in the head before stabbing her from behind? Well, then it wouldn't be a sneak attack. But. But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid attack? Oh, yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. And the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? Forehead injury, yeah. Huh? 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 
What's wrong, Maki? Wait a minute. Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Andy's body up by the shoulder. Is this? What's this doing crumbled underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? What duct tape doing here? Uh, um, I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look, there are hairs stuck to the tape. Long hairs, Angie's, right? Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? But I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under her body. So what? It was partially visible as a detective. You should have noticed it before I did. Uh Okay. Yeah, well, that's true. <sighs> well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead body. You think so? Don't beat yourself up over it. Okay. Well, then it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. Do you want to die? You want to die? Sorry. This is, sorry, joking. I couldn't you resist. You don't need to apologize. I was joking, too. That didn't sound like a joke, though. All right. I so think we're the door. Can you do anything with the door? This door is the lab's back door. Is this? The door is a sliding lock and it's still locked. That's true. And because no one has used this door since we came in here, I believe Angie locked this door when she came in and it's been locked ever since. Hey. Oh wait, what's this? There's gold paint on it. Look, there's something gold and shiny on this tab of the sliding lock. Gold and shiny, could it be? Is that all right? Maki, may I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding so lock. What? You want to unlock it? Go ahead. Do what you want. I carefully touched the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts, and softly slid the lock open. Okay. Just as I suspect, the lock will slide without much effort. Hmm. Whether you lock it or unlock it, this could be an important clue. But you couldn't lock it from outside. Well... I'm curious about this rear door too, but there's something else that bothers me. The lock on the front door that we use to enter this room. Shouldn't we investigate the front door too? I'm gonna take a closer look at it. Maki walked over to the front door. Okay. Talk to everyone in a second. Take a look at the front door. It's unlocked, but I think there are still things to investigate here. Right, right, right. I'm trying Let me to talk to Maki. Hey. I just want to confirm something. When we got to the lab, you're sure that the front door was locked? Okay. Yes, I'm positive. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I grabbed the knob, tried to turn it, and it wouldn't. Okay. And that's when he kind of freaked I out. Knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. Yes, we know he pulled out needles and did it. I feel like I've seen this scene somewhere before. I know, like 10 minutes ago. Hmm. Oh, sorry. So he picked the cylinder lock open? Hey. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock besides him? That's true. It would have been impossible from the outside. The Monocubs took the key. Monokuma did it. Yeah, Monodom took the key. <laughs> yeah, and he ate it. So Kikichi's the only one who could have opened or closed the door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kikichi could have been able to open and close the door from outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. Huh. So the front door was locked from inside the room? No. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the door got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Yeah, we're we got another closed room thing going on. Still, it's strange that the front door and the back door have different locks. The front door that we came from has a cylinder lock. And the back door has a sliding lock. By the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. Is this? In other words, this is what you might call a locked room mystery, right? Locked, huh? You're right. Yes, the cylinder lock key was taken by the monocubs, so both doors could only be locked from the inside. Mm. But only if you rule out Kokichi's lock picking, right? He could have picked the, lock, the cylinder lock on the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created this locked room mystery. It's possible that he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. If I remember correctly. That's true. That's right. Also, he appeared at an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. He always does that, though. 
He's clearly suspicious. Mm, he's too suspicious. Yeah, it is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too yeah. convenient. All right, we'll just have to finish up our investigation in the next episode. Interesting. Interesting development, and I'm still... I'm now concerned one of those five is going to die, and I'm very concerned it's Himiko. I know. Uh, oh. Can it be Kyo? I don't mind him going. Yeah. Can I pick? Do I get to choose? Right, yeah, can we pick who, uh, who out of that group? <laughs> uh, anyway, that's going to do it for us. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and <laughs> we'll see you next time.